Insulin Lispro, also known as Humalog Quickbin U100, is used to control high blood sugar in people with diabetes. By helping blood sugar get into cells, it can prevent kidney damage, blindness, nerve problems, loss of limbs, and sexual function problems. Proper control of diabetes may also lessen your risk of a heart attack or stroke. It is a man-made product that is similar to human insulin and replaces the insulin that your body would normally make. This insulin starts working faster and lasts for a shorter time than regular insulin. It is usually used with a medium or long-acting insulin product and may also be used with other oral diabetes medications such as sulfonylureas like gliburide or glipizide. The daily dosage and optimal timing of using this insulin pen should be determined by your healthcare provider. Before you start using this medication, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. This will help you understand how to use the insulin pen properly. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your doctor, diabetes educator, or pharmacist. It's important to learn all the preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional and the product package. Before using the insulin, check it visually for any particles or discoloration. If you see any, do not use it. Clean the injection site with rubbing alcohol before injecting each dose. Change where you inject each time to lessen the risk of problems under the skin. You can inject the insulin in the stomach area, the thigh, the buttocks, or the back of the upper arm. Do not inject into skin that is red, swollen, itchy, or damaged. Inject this medication under the skin as directed by your doctor, usually within 15 minutes before eating a meal or immediately after a meal. Do not inject into a vein or muscle, as this may lead to very low blood sugar. Always measure each dose carefully, as even small changes in the amount of insulin may have a large effect on your blood sugar. Remember to use this medication regularly at the same times each day to get the most benefit from it. If you have any concerns or questions about using this insulin pen, make sure to ask your healthcare professional. And don't forget to check your blood sugar regularly and share the results with your doctor. This will help determine the correct insulin dose for you. If you experience any injection site reactions like pain, redness, or irritation, or if you notice any weight gain, be sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know as soon as possible. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. And many people who use this medication don't experience any serious side effects. However, it's important to watch out for signs of low blood sugar, such as sweating, shaking, fast heartbeat, hunger, blurred vision, dizziness, or tingling hands slash feet. Always have glucose tablets or gel on hand to treat low blood sugar, and if you don't have those available, try to quickly raise your blood sugar by eating or drinking something sweet. And be sure to speak with your doctor if you do have a reaction. If you miss a meal, be sure to check with your doctor or pharmacist to find out what you should do to prevent low blood sugar. Symptoms of high blood sugar include increased thirst and urination, so be sure to let your doctor know if you experience these symptoms. Finally, if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, like rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. And always remember to speak with your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects that are not listed here. Before using the Humalog Quickpen U100 insulin pen, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to insulin Lispro or other insulins, or if you have any other allergies. This product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other issues, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. Do not use this medication if you have low blood sugar, hypoglycemia. Before starting this medication, let your doctor or pharmacist know about your medical history, especially if you have kidney disease, liver disease, or thyroid problems. You may experience blurred vision, dizziness, or drowsiness due to extremely low or high blood sugar. Avoid driving, using machinery, or any activity that requires alertness or clear vision until you are sure you can do so safely. Limit alcohol while using this medication, as it can increase your risk of developing low blood sugar. It may be more difficult to control your blood sugar when your body is stressed, such as during fever, infection, injury, or surgery. Be sure to consult your doctor, as this may require a change in your treatment plan, medications, or blood sugar testing. Before undergoing surgery, 
inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Check your blood sugar before and after exercising, and you may need a snack beforehand. When traveling across time zones, ask your doctor about adjusting your insulin schedule and be sure to take extra insulin and supplies with you. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially low blood sugar. Children may also be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially low blood sugar. If you are pregnant, it's important to inform your doctor right away, as pregnancy may cause or worsen diabetes. Discuss a plan with your doctor for managing your blood sugar during pregnancy, as your diabetes treatment may need to be adjusted. This medication passes into breast milk, but is unlikely to harm a nursing infant. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding, as your insulin needs may change while breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of possible drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. This includes not only prescription and non-prescription drugs, but also herbal products. Be sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If you are taking beta-blocker medications, such as metaprolol or propranolol, or using glaucoma eye drops like timolol, it's important to note that these medications may prevent the fast or pounding heartbeat that typically occurs when your blood sugar falls too low. Other symptoms of low blood sugar, such as dizziness, hunger, or sweating, will not be affected by these drugs. It's also important to be aware that many drugs can affect your blood sugar levels, making it more challenging to control. Before starting, stopping, or changing any medication, be sure to discuss with your doctor or pharmacist how the medication may affect your blood sugar. Additionally, regularly check your blood sugar as directed by your doctor and inform them of any high or low blood sugar symptoms. Your doctor may need to adjust your diabetes medication, exercise program, or diet accordingly. Lastly, if you are using insulin Lispro, do not use insulin Lispro ABC at the same time. Always follow your doctor's instructions and seek their guidance on any concerns or questions you may have. If you suspect someone has taken too much Humalog Quickpen U100 insulin pen and they are experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact your local poison control center right away. In the US, you can call 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include sweating, shakiness, loss of consciousness, and a fast heartbeat, which are signs of low blood sugar. It's important to seek immediate medical attention in case of an overdose. It is important not to share this medication, needles, or syringes with others. It is recommended to attend a diabetes education program to learn how to manage diabetes with medications, diet, exercise, and regular medical exams. Be aware of the symptoms of high and low blood sugar and know how to treat low blood sugar. It is essential to check your blood sugar regularly as directed and share the results with your doctor. While taking this medication, it is important to have lab and or medical tests such as liver and kidney function tests, fasting blood glucose, hemoglobin A1c, and complete blood counts. It is also important to keep all medical and lab appointments. It is recommended to keep extra supplies of insulin, syringes, and needles on hand for convenience. Remember, it's crucial to stick to your insulin schedule as prescribed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, make sure to consult with your doctor on what steps to take. When using Humalog Quickpen U100 Insulin Pen, it's important to store all unopened insulin products in the refrigerator. Once opened, insulin lease pro vials can be stored in the refrigerator or at room temperature, while insulin lease pro cartridges and pre-filled pens should only be stored at room temperature and not refrigerated. Remember to throw away any insulin lease pro that has been in use for 28 days, even if there is insulin left, and always dispose of insulin products after the expiration date on the package. It's crucial not to freeze insulin or use insulin that has been frozen. If you're using this drug in an insulin pump, Make sure not to store it in the pump for more than 7 days as doing so may lead to ineffective treatment and high blood sugar. Avoid exposing the insulin in your pump to direct sunlight or temperatures above 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit 37 degrees Celsius. 
It's also important to protect insulin from light and heat and avoid storing it in the bathroom. Always keep all medications away from children and pets, and never flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard this product when it is expired or no longer needed, and consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.